Oh boy, you are gonna love what we have cooked up here. This is my math lab. This is the dashboard. When you log into my math lab, this is what you'll come to. Let's talk about what's on this page. It's gonna tell you when your next assignment's gonna do. Also, across the top up there, you're gonna see a calendar representation of when things are due. You can even access your homework from here, but let's talk about homework later. Just under, under this part, it tells you where things are due, and also, your instructor is going to communicate with you from down here in the announcements or up there in the announcements. And now I have a few announcements. It's also going to give you your overall score. It appears demo here. I think it's related to Nemo. Um, demo uh, is underperforming a little bit. They only have 10% in the class. But anyway, let's continue on. It'll tell you your progress on your homeworks and your quizzes and your study plan. I know. It's going to allow you to go to your book and all that, but let's talk about some of the pieces here. So, like I was saying, your instructor is going to put stuff here in the announcements, or it'll put stuff here in the announcements. If they have something to say, then they'll put it here. Good stuff. All right, let's talk about your homework for a second, because then you're like, how am I going to do my homework? You're going to click the homework button. And then, when you click the homework button, it's going to pop up. Sometimes it takes a little bit. Okay. I'm waiting. There it is. All right. Um, so, here we go. We have homeworks that are going to be coming due. Let's talk about how this homework works. Let's go into this demo homework. You're not going to have this demo homework. I'm just doing it as a demo. So, there are homework questions. They pop up. Sometimes there'll be multimedia assignments, and you'll get videos and stuff like that, too. So here we are. We're in the do homework. Great. And what we want to do is we want to um, do some of this homework. You can save a homework as many times as you want until the due date. Um, let's solve this guy. Let's put in an answer. We're like, what do we subtract 7 from to get 25? I guess you could just guess it. Maybe you're guessing it as... 30. Awesome. Let's check our answer. Oh no! I'm incorrect! <laughs> but my machine apologized to me and said, I'm sorry, that is not correct. The addition property of equality is to isolate the variable on one side of the equation. So, there we go. I didn't get it right, but it gave me a suggestion. Now, you can get each problem wrong three times before it marks it wrong. Whoops. Um, nope. I want to check my answer. Oh, I was wrong again. Oh, I was wrong again. Look, it gave me a little red check. But that's okay. You know why? I can get rid of the red checks by clicking similar exercise. So if I click a similar exercise and I get this one right, then um, it's going to forget about that last one. But what if I need some tools to help me get this right? I'm going to go over here to the Help Me Solve This. This one, you're going to wear these two top buttons out. Yeah, um, the Help Me Solve This is going to give you an interactive, an interactive screen, and it's going to walk you through the steps. So we're like, okay, um, use the addition property. It wants to know what you're going to add to each side. And here we're going to add 5 to each side, because that gives you the additive inverse. And this isn't a, uh, yeah. All right, this isn't a tutorial on that. We're just trying to see how excellent we are. But it's going to go through, and it's going to walk you through interactively, step by step, in order to give you the tools to solve that problem. But perhaps you don't want the interactive. Maybe you just want to skip to a part. This view and example is an example where they show you how to do each problem. And you can just click through until you find the part where you're stuck close that. Also, some of these have videos associated with them. I know. Maybe you want to see somebody actually work it out in front of you. Now, mind you, their videos are what they are. I've seen enough. Okay. So now, animations. These are like stinking sweet. Right, so they give you these things, and then we put a couple of them up there. And, of course, we're wrong, but this is the sake of an example. Let me get out of here. Bam! Um, also, you can go to the textbook. What? You have a textbook? Yes, and there's a video on the multimedia textbook. This textbook's pretty rad. And I do mean in the 80s sense.
except this is totally up to date. This is so 2011. It is flash video. So then the textbook comes up and it takes you to the spot where you're having particular problems. And this is an interactive textbook. Um, if you want to see how this ebook works, make sure you watch the video about the ebook. You can also email your instructor. You know, if you hit this button, it sends an email right to your instructor with this particular problem. Um, attached in the email so the instructor can see what you're talking about. Maybe um, it didn't submit right or something happened like that and you were like, hey, instructor, fix this. And they will. Okay. Um, and that's an overview about the homework. No, I want to leave this page. La, 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 la. Oh, come on. I just want to get it right. Because why? We were showing you you can get it wrong three times, but you can get rid of that and get 100% on your homeworks. Okay, so let me put in 14. That's my best guess. Let's check this. Oh my gosh, I've done nice work. Okay, whew. Now look. Green check. All right. Um, let's move on. Let's leave this page because I want to talk about some quizzes. Yeah. All right, so. There are a couple different types of quizzes in this My Math Lab. Um, the practice quiz, you can take it three times. And it's um, semi dynamic when I say that. Every time you take it, it's going to be a little bit different. But what is it to prepare you for? It's to prepare you for the quiz. These quizzes are um, pretty awesome. Do you know why? If you get 100% on this quiz, well, let's just say you miss a few, it's going to generate a homework specific to you based on what you've gotten correct on the quiz. If you get this quiz 100% correct, that homework will be counted as 100% done. Now these are extra homeworks related to these quizzes, so it's going to help you master the skills that um, you want to have by the end of this course. So the practice test quiz, you can take it three times. Let's just take it one time. Okay, great. Um, I'm ready. I'm ready. A little SpongeBob. Krabby Patties? Great. So it's going to go through and it. You can skip around on problems, add some fractions, do this and that, and some other things. But you notice on these quizzes, there's no help me solve it over here. But wait, let's answer a couple of these. Um, let's answer that one. Um, let's add to this one. Of course, we're not getting these correct, because I don't think the answer is H. Shh. Anyway, let's submit this. And there'd be good. you have 16 unanswered questions. You're like, I know, but I gotta go. And um, are you sure you want to submit it? Yes. You don't, of course. You want to complete it 100%. Now, look at this. We can review our test. Here's the ones that we didn't answer. Here's the ones that we did answer and answered them wrong. Um, we can go in here and now notice what's available to you when you're reviewing these you also have those buttons that you wear out that help me solve it and give you an example right so that you can go through and you can master these problems there's so much here to help you here I have the translation bam I answered five the correct answer is 9d that's um, 9 and the letter D not like the number 90 anyway um, great. So I can go through and I can review all of these problems. And in all of these problems, when I'm reviewing it, I can go and I can get them correct by looking at these two. Awesome. Awesome. I've seen enough of this. Let's get out of here. All right. So that's how the quizzes work. Remember the practice quiz you can take three times and it's to prepare you for the quiz quiz. If you get anything wrong on the quiz quiz, then the uh, homework will be generated for you based on the stuff that you got correct. I mean, if you missed it, It'll be on the homework. Oh my gosh, I don't want to. Um, study plan. As you're doing these tests, these quizzes, and these homeworks, it is going to create a study plan for you. Right, the computer knows what you need to work on. And if it has this little guy here, then those are the items that you need to work on. So the computer helps you understand the material, and it reinforces it by 
offering you extra problems in the study plan. Now, the study plan may or may not count towards your grade. That depends on how your instructor wants to set it up. Um, but I see it as a little extra help. But what about my grade? I want to know my grade. I want to know my grade. I want to know my grade. This is your grade. This is a live grade. Um, it is your grade at the moment. Grade A, I know. It's going to give you the um, time. Ooh, it tracks how long you spend on each assignment. Nice. It's going to give you your total and your percentage. But what if you want to know your overall score? You're going to click up here and overall score. And then we're going to see that subpar epic fail. Come on, man. Pick it up. Pick it up where? Pick it up above 70 or so, whatever your instructor sets. So, right, it's going to tell you um, your percentages on your homeworks and your quizzes and the time that you've spent on them. And 11% in the class? Oh, come on. That's awesome because you can go back and you can redo all that stuff and you can see if you change just one problem how your grade is going to change. Awesome. Um, chapter contents. Maybe you want to access the book. Here's where you would go. Okay, let's close out of here. Right, because you would click on here or in a specific chapter. Maybe you're in 3.2. And what can we do? You can see the publisher's video on 3.2. Or you can go to the multimedia e-text. Awesome place to go. Or you can work in the study plan from 3.2. All right, let's close out of this chapter content. I'm not sure if I'm going to leave their videos in here. Maybe, maybe not. Um, their videos are even in Spanish. Yes, I know. Si se puede. Uh, tools for success, the multi library discussions, and some of this stuff you won't be able to see. And that's pretty much what's up with your My Math Lab and how you're going to use it. So we see here, I have one day and 13 hours till my next due assignment. I better get on it. Thank you.